Should you buy AMD stock over Nvidia? Which company is better? Which stock is better? Maybe should you buy Nvidia over AMD, right? Lots of questions have been asked more recently, especially if you look at the stock's performance for AMD has a market cap of $269.7 billion. Year-to-date stock is up close to 14%. Year-over-year, the stock is up 42%. But as you can see, I'm comparing here NVIDIA to AMD, forward PE, EV to EBITDA, price to free cash flow, price earnings to growth. You can see that on most metrics other than price earnings to growth, NVIDIA is cheaper than AMD despite Nvidia stock being up quite significantly. I mean, Nvidia right now is even lower than its five-year mean on all of those metrics. Now, if we look at what the analysts are expecting in the coming fiscal years, you can see that fiscal year 2024, sales is quite weak-ish, only growing 12.65%, while EPS should be much higher than that at 32.6% growth year over year. But then moving into fiscal year 25 and 26, you're seeing a reacceleration top and bottom line. 27.7% year-over-year growth for sales and 57.7% year-over-year growth with regards to EPS, followed by fiscal year 2026, 17.7% year-over-year growth and close to 32% year-over-year growth with regards to EPS. Now let's see what they expect from NVIDIA. With regards to NVIDIA, which by the way is up 130% year-to-date, up 200% year-over-year, and yet as we've seen valuation-wise, still cheaper than its five-year mean, and cheaper than AMD. Now, what do the NS expect from Nvidia? Of course, insane growth in fiscal year 2025, sales growth close to 100% year over year, EPS growth over 100% year over year, followed by 30% year over year growth for sales and EPS in fiscal year 2026, and then 15 to 16% year over year growth for sales and EPS in fiscal year 2027. Now there is more to the story, but before doing that, if you enjoy this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, if you have not, would really appreciate that. If you want to support me even further, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now, or go to fool.com forward slash couch investor. Thank you very much. So if we go back and we look at the growth with regards to NVIDIA's total revenue, free cash flow that's in the last 12 months, return on invested capital, and as well gross profit and net income. We can see that in the last two years or so, well, two years, year and a half or so, for a last 12 months metric, everything has exploded, right? Free cash flow, revenue, return on invested capital, 72.61%. That's, that's quite amazing. I don't think it will stay that high for that long, but still, that's quite amazing. And then gross profit and net income has also exploded to the upside more recently. Now, what has happened with AMD? Well, with regards to AMD, you also had that huge push, but a bit beforehand, basically the pandemic effect, the positive effects of the pandemic. And then you had a slowdown. That's because, well, their biggest segments before was not data center, but just like Nvidia, was more towards the consumer, GPUs, CPUs. There was a slowdown in that. That's what you're seeing here. Plus you're seeing a huge slowdown in free cash flow, return on invested capital, net income as well, and the same with gross profit. Now, more recently, you have seen a little reacceleration in revenue growth, but the one lagging factor here is, of course, the profitability side of things. We have not seen the explosion in growth with regards to profitability at MD the same way we've seen with NVIDIA. So the question here is, how come? Because since NVIDIA and AMD are both, of course, players in the data center market, GPU market as well. It's true that embedded for AMD is dragging the business down a little bit, but where are the signs of huge demand that we've seen from Nvidia at AMD? Because if we compare both, you can see that Nvidia's free cash flow in the last 12 months is higher than AMD's revenue in the last 12 months. In the last 12 months, Nvidia generated $27 billion in free cash flow, whereas AMD's revenue came in at $22.8 billion. If we look at gross profit, net income for NVIDIA compared to AMD, you can clearly see here NVIDIA is way more profitable than AMD right now. But if we go and look at AMD's Q1 results, we can see that data center net revenue there is up 80% year over year. Operating income for that segment was up 266% year over year. With regards to the client side, net revenue up 85% year over year, operating income up 150% year over year. The gaming segment and embedded are still dragging the overall business down a lot, 
Gaming was down 48% year over year with regards to revenue. Operating income down 52% year over year, also down quarter over quarter. Same with Embedded, we've seen the same weakness at Intel as well. Here net revenue down 46% year over year and 57% with regards to operating income. And so revenue only grew 2% year over year. Gross profit only 9% year over year. Gross margin sits at 47%, that's up 3 percentage points year over year. Operating expenses basically flat, so they can grow while operating expenses are flat. But still remember, gaming and embedded dragging that growth down. Operating income, of course, last year was a very, very bad year for AMD. So it's up 125% year over year, down 89% quarter over quarter. But it's still, what, only $36 million for a company that's worth $260 plus billion. That's really not a lot with an operating margin of just 1%. Now, yesterday at Computex, Lisa Su, the CEO of AMD, did have a whole presentation, made a couple of announcements. I'm going to do a separate video with regards to that. But they did say that right now, with regards to the data center, AMD Epic has a 33% market share and it is growing. During the last earnings call, they also said that based on our expanding customer engagement, we now expect data center GPU revenue to exceed $4 billion in 2024, up from $3.5 billion guided in January. Long term, we are increasingly working closer with our cloud and enterprise customers as we expand and accelerate our AI hardware and software roadmaps and grow our data center GPU footprint. With some importance, I would say, on the software roadmap with regards to the competing, let's say, product to NVIDIA's CUDA. So to conclude, we've compared NVIDIA to AMD. It's true that NVIDIA stock has grown much faster than AMD, but there is a reason for that. Seeing that NVIDIA is up 200% year over year while AMD is not, should not be the deciding factor here. You have to look at the business. You have to look at how the market is pricing those companies. And right now, seems like Ford, PE, Vitrabida, all of that, it's pretty close one to the other. But one business has grown much faster than the other. One business is way more profitable than the other, which of course means that I would go with NVIDIA over AMD right now. That's not to say that AMD is a bad company. No, not at all. But in order for AMD to have the same, let's say, exploding effect that Nvidia has had, it has to show that. It has to show that in the quarterly earnings. It has to show that suddenly there's a huge reacceleration in revenue growth and profitability is exploding as well. We know that we shouldn't really expect any major improvement with regards to embedded. But I think that with the refresh cycle coming up for CPUs, GPUs, especially for the consumer, I think you're going to see those segments decline and gaming segments improve, which should reduce the drag on the overall business because we know that the data center side of things is doing well. But since AMD still has CPUs, GPUs, you need those segments to work well to see the overall business sales and profitability go up quite a lot. So overall, that's about it. I think Nvidia is the main winner here. I think pricing wise, you got to see that it's extremely close, but one business growing fast, more profitable than the other. Maybe in a quarter or two, suddenly we're going to see AMD have the same effect as Nvidia had a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago by now, right? Huge reacceleration suddenly quarter over quarter. That can happen. Remains to be seen, but overall right now, that's about it. There will be a follow-up on AMD's announcements and how that might affect the business in the future coming up in the next few days. So stay tuned for that. Do share your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you enjoy this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.